Hi everyone, I'm Shweta. If you are new, thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope you really stick around by hitting that little red button and being part of my social media family. I'm extremely active on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter. My social media handle is Shweta Vijayanaya. Today I'm just going to be showing you my everyday makeup, something that I've been doing ever since I've gotten back from Kerala. While applying my makeup, I will do a bit of a chit chat session where I am renting out a few things that have been troubling me for quite some time. I have done a couple of videos like this in the past but there are so many things that I thought I'll just catch up with you guys and at the same time play with some new products that I got from India especially Nykaa so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it I'm starting off with the green tea face mask from Plum Cosmetics Plum Cosmetics, I featured this in my last video, Best in Beauty of 2017, you guys should go and check it out. Nearly 40 products from the Indian uh, brands as well as international brands have been mentioned, reviewed. I have used this you guys and I really like the green tea range, okay? So I'm just going to apply this all over my face, clean fingers because I've just washed my hands right now. I'm just going to apply that on my face and keep it on for about 10 minutes or so you feel the slight tingly sensation uh, nothing too overwhelming I love the fact that after you apply this it has a tendency of making a dull looking skin look much more brighter uh, so I washed my face off completely I feel my skin is like really nice and soft and taut I think it is because of the bentonite clay uh, it's very much similar to the Aztec one but Aztec is completely a bentonite clay whereas this one has got other antioxidant ingredients like green tea Guys, I'm very impressed with the Plum Cosmetic, the green tea range. I can't vouch for anything else, but I can vouch that this one is great. So I'm using the Karma Ayurveda Rose Lip Balm just to moisturize my lips. And now I'm just going to apply my sunscreen. This is the Lotus Herbal. Got that gel feel to it and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. So this is the Urban Decay quickie fix and it is infused with uh, you know coconut water this is the hydra charge complexion prep priming spray okay and it's got all good ingredients that will work for your skin so i i really love this this was also in my best of 2017 mm, smells so good and right now I've got this slight darkness out here. I don't have extremely dark circles, you guys. And if you're looking out for a very good DIY eye cream, which has been in my family for years, then, you know, there is the video is also there in the info bar. Go check it out, make it, because I've had nothing but positive feedback regarding that. And wherever the dark spots are there, I'm just going to take this orange lipstick. It's got this orange red tone. This is the Faces All Time Pro Really Rust, okay? And I'm just going to dab that. You just don't need an orange correcting uh, concealer, a separate one. If you have an orange lipstick with a red, little bit of a red undertone to it, you're good to go. I think in the year 2017, there was so much of... Um, it was a bad year for good people on YouTube, on social media, okay? Um, especially the ones who just started. You know, anyway, it has become such a competitive space. Uh, you have a lot of people who are doing anything for views and for likes and there are so many clickbaits and I know that it is all survival. I know everyone is trying to survive, especially on Instagram and you used to see that crazy clickbaits. People's views used to increase and people who are new, were new to the game, they were feeling so bad about their views going less or their, them not getting the kind of following that they deserve that they started i'm using the collections uh this is the long lasting perfection concealer in medium and i'm just going to dab it only around the areas that require concealing okay people were not understanding the feelings of the person that is standing in front of the camera it became very easy for people to judge if you were if you were not being entertained uh you know the audience was very vocal about it they would put you down they would put your work down i had i had family members i mean not anymore but i did have family members who would go online last year saying that my work was not uh you know it my work was not excellent it was not in it just did not fascinate them. I understand constructive criticism, I'm all for it. That's exactly why I keep asking you guys for a feedback. But when you go online and you put a person's work down, you have no idea how much of hard work goes into each and everything, For especially for someone who works 
for themselves like a youtube creator who creates videos tries to provide and give you the best content possible edits by themselves markets themselves everything we do it on our own and you just dismiss it by going online and saying oh that was such bad work that i just saw how can you even have the heart to put anyone else's work down how can you be a keyboard warrior and just sit on the other side and you know spew up so much of hate i wish they had picked up the phone and told me hey i didn't like it and i'm all okay for it what i want everyone to like my videos no but i prefer if someone would just say to me face to face pick the phone and say i didn't like that video i think it was it wasn't that great don't go online and put me down and that's what i noticed there was a lot going on whole of last year and yeah so it really hurt me okay and it was affecting my health it was affecting because anyway my health was not excellent okay there was something wrong with my body which i've explained what it was in my in that video of mine but i was mentally being affected by people what they were doing online you know and i decided to completely cut away from people who are toxic and luckily those family members are not there in my life anymore that's the thing about negative people they they hate your work they hate you but they still want to know what you're doing and they still want to watch your videos just to hate you even more so why watch why don't you just give it a rest my second problem was the likes of Logan Paul. Now, I don't know if you guys heard about what Logan Paul did. Just let me take a sip. But Logan Paul is this huge YouTuber who vlogs. Okay, and he's got a following of about 15 million and what he did uh, for New Year's, he went to Jap uh, he went to Japan and he went to the suicide forest in Japan and he vlogged the whole experience and there was a dead body of a young boy. He hung himself and that's what people do in uh, the suicide forest in Japan. and he goes there and he vlogs it and he mocks it and he puts that on youtube and he got 6 million views in 2 hours and youtube allowed it so the thing is he even monetized the video and i just don't understand where is empathy nowadays when it comes to it's all about getting the maximum views there was one that got 7 8 million views of a girl having sex with her boyfriend saying that i lost my virginity these are things that youtube is not realizing what they are doing i don't know why that there are some channels that they don't want to promote and there are some channels like logan paul that idiot's uh, video was trending Yeah he took down the video because there was such a big outrage because people are realizing that there's a lot of shit that is happening but damage is done you know you can't just put up another video saying oh i apologize and i'm going to take time off from the internet to you know just look deep inside my soul and see what i want out of life really so now i'm just going to apply the nika skin genius foundation i'm in the shade 03 and they've got only about 5 shades whoopie do nika well well done because let's forget about the dark skin girls uh but i have to tell you for an everyday use i think this is an amazing foundation it's very similar to the bb cream cc creams that you have if you make a mistake online choosing a lighter shade it will still adapt to your skin tone it warms up very well to your skin tone some i don't think any other brand has a formula as unique as this i don't want too much of foundation you guys i'm just since this is such a lightweight foundation that's exactly what i need people feel as a youtuber it, you need to accept the fact that you're going to get negative naysayers you're going to get trolls who will put you down constantly but they just forget that we are humans also just put yourself in our shoes and see exactly how it feels it really hurts man when you are mocked about your work you're mocked especially me when i was mocked about my work i was mocked about my skin i was mocked about the way i speak i was mocked about the way i look look at your skin it disgusts me i mean i don't know what else to do this is my skin this is me this is what my my condition was this why don't you see the person who's so honest with you to show you every bloody goddamn flaw on her face just to make you know that not everything is hunky dory not everything is a world filled with filters you know and i was thinking what is the difference then between me and that person if we are um, if i'm retaliating this is what they want because you know people who have hatred in their heart 
They just want to sit behind the screen and just type and they feel good about themselves and they feel that you know they have done their duty for the day they feel really proud of their accomplishments they're so what you call it unhappy with their life that they want to break someone else you can't fix yourself if you break someone else hurt people hurt other people all right and that took me a while to realize and that is why i've made myself a promise that i will not be on you know social media for a very long time before my day used to start with social media and end with social media right now i just spend about four or five hours maximum i make sure that i'm hardly there on social media these days and i had a couple of you who wanted to start a youtube channel and all i can tell you is go for it guys because just live out your passion you have a passion to create you have a passion to teach you have a passion to do whatever whether it's cooking or stitching or you know makeup or beauty whatever it is just live it out you have only one life so don't listen to people who go like oh you're too old for that or is that a real job you need to get a job no you can't tell me that my job is not as important as yours because you don't know how much money I'm making, you don't know what I'm doing, you don't know how I'm surviving, you don't know anything. Don't point fingers. So right now I'm just going to apply the loose powder. This is the Delight Plus uh, loose powder. And I really like it guys. It's very similar to the Lacme, you know, the pink powder that you get in Lacme. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mattify my face a lot more with this. So I'm taking the loose powder right now and I'm just applying this on my T-zone area. I hope this year will be all about honesty, will be all about kindness, will be about you know people helping each other out. I'm just going to take my Hula bronzer, the last of it, whatever is left in this. It's a very old bronzer, but it's actually one of my favorite. The only reason I'm not reaching out to benefit is that they're not cruelty free. So whatever is left in it, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids. I'm going to take this uh, 005, no, 050 light pink. This is from Rimmel and I hate this blusher. I think it is disgusting, no color payoff. I don't know why I even have it. I'm putting that on the center. So this time when I went to Kerala, I had this auntie, okay, and her daughter who came to visit me. And she was like, oh, Molle, I don't know how you can wear so much makeup. Every day wearing this much makeup, is it very good for the skin? And I always tell my daughter, she does not need it, you know, and men don't like it. And I was just like looking at her thinking, hmm, here comes a judgmental auntie who has nothing else to do but to tell people when to get pregnant, what to do with their lives, how they should worship their husband. And I, in my head, I was like, I didn't know how to tell her, like, auntie, you really need makeup, you know? So I was shocked that even in this day and age, you have people who still judge you for what you wear for on your face. Like, I know my mom doesn't like me wearing shorts or if there's a picture of me that's a little explicit on Instagram, I will immediately get a message from her saying that I really did not like it. There was no need. Forget her, if that's how she thinks, I'm sure even my in-laws, there, there are certain things that they wouldn't like. And I respect that because that's their thinking, that you can't change an old school thought. How can makeup make you a bad person? It just makes you look a lot more presentable, you know? No one is asking you to change. So dear auntie, this is for you, I know you're watching. Don't think that just because I apply makeup, it makes me a bad person. It's just that I love makeup. Okay, it's not my entire life. There are days when I can't stand a single product on my face and there are days I love a full face. But that doesn't make me a bad person, okay? And maybe it's time for you to take your daughter and get that, you know, facial hair out of her face, especially her upper lip. I'm sure that she feels really shy about it. You really need to listen to your daughter's needs and just because you look a certain way, don't impose that on your daughter. On my lower lash, I'm going to take that same bronzing powder and I'm just going to apply that just to give it a little more warmth. I'm taking the Brown Zero Two Ultime Pro from Faces. Um, I love their eye pencils, you guys. The black one my mom stole because she loved it that much. I'm just going to smoke it out. Just going to take a little bit of it and put it right here very gently with a soft hand 
I'm just going to put that on, not on my lash line, but right below the lash line, just here. Now to open up my eyes a lot more brighter, I have been using a nude eye pencil, not a white eye pencil, but a nude one. And I'm just gonna put this now on my lash line. Time to do my eyebrows and I'm just going to define it because this is that natural everyday makeup, I'm not going to go for my Instagram eyebrows. I never do because I hate it. It doesn't suit me. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking this stunning eyeshadow color uh, called Primavera that has got a bit of that champagne gold color. And I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten my eye a lot more. A little bit on my Cupid's bow. Taking that same eyeshadow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit right here on the high points of my cheek. Okay, taking the same Benefit bronzer, I'm just going to bronze my face, give it a little bit more warmth because I don't like extreme contouring for me anymore. Taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to run that all over my face so that everything blends flawlessly. I'm taking the NYX Amber Blush, a beautiful pink mauve blush, and look at that, so pretty. And I'm just going to, it has great color payoff, so go very gentle on it. And I'm going to add my color. Now it's time for lashes. You can put your artificial ones on, or you can put a lot of mascara. This is the Lash Princess from Essence for around $3, £3, pounds. one of the best mascaras, you guys. I've even explained it in detail in my previous video, the best of 2017. And I'm just going to apply that on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. Well, guys, we're nearly complete. I'm just going to do my lipstick right now, and I'm going to go with Ginger Lip Liner from Kylie Cosmetics. Over this, I'm going to go with the Nykaa Matalicious uh, Lip Crayon in Lacy Luck. I love this. It's that everyday beautiful nude color with a peach undertone to it. It'll suit my skin tone, fair to medium. Anything deeper, I think it will wash you out. It's extremely pigmented. It's very creamy. It lasts for a reasonable amount of time. I love the color. This is their fastest selling color and I can see why because for a fair to medium skin tone, they are really going to love this. So. To complete this entire makeup look and to make it a little more matte because of how the Skin Genius Foundation has got that dewy finish, to take whatever dewiness out because for my textured skin, the more matte, the better it is. I'm just going to apply my Stay Matte from NYX. My makeup look is complete. This is my everyday makeup. Very simple, very easy to achieve. Nothing complicated, not too many products on your face, but yet your face has that coverage. Okay, I can still see my tiny brown spots. That is okay, I'm okay with that whole natural look going on for me. It covers what needs to be covered. So I hope to see you in my next video. Do not forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Leave your comments below, guys. Don't forget that there is a human being on the other side of the camera that has the same heart like you. And just leave a lot of love and support because that's what all of us, the newcomers as well as the established ones require. All right, so I shall see you soon. Spread the love, spread the positivity. And until later, bye my loves.